A Lawrence County man has been arrested in connection with a murder in Aurora. Good evening. Thanks for joining us. I'm Grant Sloan. Shannon Hensley has been charged with first degree murder, robbery, burglary, and armed criminal action. The charges stem from the shooting death of 82 year old Nolan Karch. Karch was found dead in his home with multiple gunshot wounds on Monday night. Happening around America, things are slowly getting back to normal. One day after a gunman opened fire inside an airport in Florida. Investigators are still processing the terminal where five people were killed. Craig Boswell is on the scene in Fort Lauderdale. Long lines snaked in and around the Fort Lauderdale Hollywood International Airport as stranded and anxious passengers waited for information on available flights Saturday. I'm petrified to be here. I don't want to be here in this place. The airport was shut down yesterday after police say 26-year-old Esteban Santiago used a gun from his checked luggage to shoot passengers in the baggage claim area. We have a subject with cut to the head. Olga Waltering and Terry Andre, a volunteer firefighter, were among the five people killed in the shooting spree. This is a tragedy, right? I mean, it's just horrible. People lost their lives, they lost their loved ones. We have people still injured. Airport officials have about 20,000 items to return to their owners. They include luggage, laptops, cell phones, dropped by panicked passengers during the chaos. I'm just, just want to go home to Canada. We don't know where our luggage is. CBS News has learned that Santiago, an Army veteran, walked into an FBI office with a gun and complained about hearing voices last year. The gun was returned after he received a medical evaluation. Police are still working on a motive for Friday's attack. Craig Boswell, CBS News, Fort Lauderdale. Six people remain in the hospital. Officials say Santiago will be charged with murder, but more charges will likely be added. And another retailer is turning out the lights for good. The Limited announced today that all stores nationwide, including the store at the Battlefield Mall, officially closed their doors. The company says it will keep its website up and will ship items nationwide. 20 years ago, the Limited was on fire with more than 750 stores in the U.S. The Limited brand fell on hard times, though, in the mid-2000s and never fully recovered. Macy's also brought bad news to mall shoppers this week, announcing the closing of 68 stores. And Sears Holdings announced 150 Kmart and Sears locations are shutting down. Well, despite struggling stores, good news is expected when the final tally of holiday sales is released next week. Many retailers get the bulk of their annual revenues during the holidays. The Commerce Department releases the official retail sales total for December next Friday. Economists predict the total retail sales will increase 0.5%. Well, in political coverage tonight, President-elect Donald Trump is standing by his belief that closer ties with Russia are good for the United States. Trump used Twitter to share his thoughts. Quote, having a good relationship with Russia is a good thing, not a bad thing. He added, only stupid people or fools would think that it is bad. Trump said when he is president, Russia will respect the U.S. more than it does now. His comments come one day after he received intelligence about Russia's hacking during the campaign and that the goal was to hurt Hillary Clinton's campaign and benefit his. Celebrities and friends partied at the White House last night to say goodbye to President Obama and the First Lady. The Obamas threw a farewell bash for VIPs, donors, and supporters. Some celebs spotted arriving were Stevie Wonder, Paul McCartney, Robert De Niro, and Meryl Streep. The president told People Magazine last month he was planning to host a, quote, kind of grown-up party before he departs the office. The last major bash held at the White House was President Obama's 55th party, or 55th birthday party in August. Ellen DeGeneres, Samuel L. Jackson, Sarah Jessica Parker were all in attendance. Well, in technology news tonight, SpaceX has been given the green light to launch a rocket into space next week. The FAA gave SpaceX the go-ahead to launch a Falcon 9 rocket Monday at an Air Force base in California. The rocket is carrying 10 satellites aimed to help speed bandwidth and communications giant Iridium. It's the first SpaceX, SpaceX rocket launch to attempt since September when a failed launch led to the destruction of a satellite for Facebook. SpaceX claimed the tragedy or blamed the tragedy on a failed pressure valve in a liquid oxygen tank. Well, toy giant Mattel is looking to take on Amazon's Echo and Apple's Siri with its own voice-activated assistant. 
Aristotle was unveiled this week at the Consumer Electronics Show in Las Vegas. Mattel says it's different from Echo and Siri because it focuses on children from infancy to adolescence. Aristotle can serve as a baby monitor, tell bedtime stories, even help older kids with their homework. It also includes a few games and other forms of entertainment. Parents can also use Aristotle to order things that they may be running low on, such as diapers. It's expected to be available for purchase later this year. Well, up next, a piece of local history it is once again open in Springfield. We'll show you around the Brentwood Library. Coming up. Closed captioning on Cutter 10 News is.